family, it's your big bro KO. And I got my girl Rissa Ray right here. That's right, man. We're finna be showing y'all how to make a smoothie. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all probably didn't follow me when I be on the truck and I be making these smoothies. They used to call me the smoothie king, the real smoothie king, the truck driver, smoothie king. Let's see what I got here, man. Got the peaches right here. We're gonna have the peaches up in here. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have a sliced bananas. And we're gonna have sliced strawberries. Gotta have them strawberries. That's right, that's right. You gotta have them strawberries. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay. I'm gonna have Risa Ray to um, see them two glasses right there? Yes. Just need you to just rinse them out. Okay. And, um, CNAs to go into homes, so say someone's aunt or grandmother okay. has amnesia or dementia or paraplegic for bedridden. I hire the CNAs to go into the home to take care of those people. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you hire the CNAs. Mm -hmm. I do. So, like, say Aunt Joe needs some help because Aunt Joe is bedridden. Okay. So, what I do is I find the resumes on Indeed, Monster.com, Career Builder, those kind of job sites. Okay. And I do the interviews and then I put them at the right house. Oh, wow. So say someone may need care from like 10 a.m. to 3. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, how long have you been doing that? I've been doing it about three years. Three years, you like Yeah, it? I like health care. Yeah, 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 that's what's up. Yeah, everybody needs some care. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> so it's something you see yourself, yourself doing for a long time? Um, I wouldn't say a long time. My definitely dream is definitely with music okay. and the entertainment and film. But oh. it does feel good to be a part of healthcare. Oh, yeah? So what you want to do in film? I um, love film. I really like to act. Um, I ride motorcycles. So, oh, okay. Um, you know, if you're messing for a female biker, let me know. Um, mm -hmm. But I really like acting. I like the part of, you know, just taking the script, working with the communal adventure of your co-stars your mm -hmm. co and your counterparts. So right, right. I really love acting. Oh, that's what's up. I can tell. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're good in front of the camera. Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, so you ride motorcycles, you ain't go to um, spring break? Um, Black Bike Week is actually coming up Memorial Day weekend, so I am looking forward to going to that. For real? Um, then we go down to Daytona and Orlando, places like that. Okay, you got a bike? Um, I do, I do. Wow. I do have a Black 750 Jixxon. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've been riding a long time. She got a bicycle, y'all. <laughs> That's what's up. Shout out to all the female bikers. That's right. Shout out to the female bikers. That's right. <laughs> Everybody loves to be a female on a bike. Mm -hmm. Who taught y'all to ride bikes? Um, actually, I was dating a guy in college. I went to LSU, so shout out all my LSU Tigers. Mm -hmm. um, and he had a motorcycle and just jumped on the back and kind of took off from there. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you know, then you know you get tired of riding on the back of a motorcycle, so then you want your own, and then decide to jump on and take off. Jump on your own? Um, actually, I ended up buying my own at that time. It was about 10 years ago, and then just took off. So, I, hold on, wait, wait. So, after you, um, after you rode on the back with him, mm -hmm. he didn't... After that, he didn't like teach you, like say, oh, okay, get on mine, excuse me, get on mine, let me show you how to do it. Um, do it. it wasn't so much get on his, I don't think he wanted to see his bike like sliding down the street. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so, for me, it was more, I'm gonna show you more of a visual. Mm -hmm. And then we went and got my own bike, and then I learned on my own motorcycle. Oh. So, just in case if I crash my motorcycle, it's my bike. Right, right, right. Not crashing it. Yeah, yeah. Now, the motor motorcycle is expensive? Um, you can get you a good bike, maybe about 3500 Anywhere between ten, twelve thousand dollars. Well, yeah, yeah, so like a car almost. Thirty-five hundred down, or just straight. Um, you can maybe do straight straight up. You know, like a used bike for like maybe your first starter bike or something like that. Um, but they can go up to, like I said, fifteen is really understatement. I've seen bikes worth twenty, thirty grand. You know, once you put all the effects on it and the lights and everything. Mm -hmm. I seen a picture with you on the bicycle. 
Yeah. <laughs> that was hers? Um, the orange and black one was yeah. not. The black one was. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. So I love motorcycles. I was just, you know, feeling free. What's up, family? It's your bit, bro. K.O., listen. I told you, man. We back with another edition of the Prison of Power show, round six. I got my girl, Rissa Ray. She's in the building. She's going to be sharing her personal testimony of her and her mom's relationship coming up. And y'all seen it, man. The big bro, K.O., did the smoothie. I had the bananas. I had the strawberry. I had the peaches. Y'all know I always talk about the baked beans and the macaroni. But like I said, that kind of stuff is unhealthy. So we wanted to do something healthy. So make sure y'all tune in right now on the Prison of Power show with your big bro, K.O. Yo, what's up, family? It's your big bro, K.O. Listen, man, I got my, my guest right here, Risa Ray. We just got done eating on a smoothie, man. I'm telling you, y'all seen it. That thing was good, wasn't it? It was good. Yeah, that's it right, that's good. right. <laughs> yeah, she'll tell you, man. Put down on it, man. And Risa Ray, she's going to just share her story with y'all, man. She has an amazing story, and she just want to just talk to y'all young women out there. So, further more ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this interview. What's up, Risa Ray? Nothing much is working, working, and more working. <laughs> that's right. That's what's up. That's what's up. So what kind, of, what kind of work you been doing? Um, I'm well. I'm doing a lot going on with music. I'm just releasing mixtape, the Push mixtape. Okay. So I'm very excited about that. Um, got the healthcare thing going on with my CNAs, and then too, just really pushing the modeling and my motorcycle life. Oh, okay, okay. So that's what's up. Y'all heard it. She said she do the music too now. Yes. She's into the music. What kind of music you do? Um, right now I'm pushing the rap. Okay. Um, but I like to sing as well. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with a little rap and R&B. Oh, okay. I mean, you, so you like to sing, huh? I do. I do. You, you want to give him a little bit or you want to just hold him? Oh, uh, you know, just <laughs> let him wait. Let him wait on it. <laughs> y'all might, might have to get that CD. You see, she, she rap and she sing too. So y'all might have to get the CD. You know, if you share your testimony, somebody mm -hmm. might be going through something. Right. You know what I'm saying? And by hearing your testimony, it empowers them and inspires them that they can make it out of it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, so that's why, that's why we do this show. So... You know, um, so yeah, man, I, I want to ask you, um, how, do, how do you feel the importance of family? Um, you know, I feel family is very, very important. Um, one thing about it is you don't have to be blood to be family. That's right. Um, a lot of it is about love and loyalty. Um, but so if we're going to talk more about blood, it's important because you look for that guidance, that love, and that support. So if you can ever, ever get that from the blood or non-blood, it's still great. That's what's up. And I know important, um, I know what you mean because family is real important to me, you know, losing my parents at a young age. I didn't really get to have my parents in my life that long. You know, my daddy, you know, died at five and my mom died at nine. I know this I know it's very important. I just wish they was here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's, it's just good. So you grew up with your parents. Um, I did. I did. Um, actually, when I turned 18, I actually took a softball scholarship to LSU. And so um, pretty much when I was going through my college transition and going through my college career, my parents were actually going through a divorce. Oh. Um, you know, and sometimes, you know, that just might be the way the cookie crumbles. But there was never any kind of judgment as long as my parents were safe and in loving homes and relationships. That's what was most important. Okay, okay. So how important is it for um, a young woman to have a relationship with her mom if, if, if possible? You know, it's very important. Um, I say that because a lot of women, we look to our mothers for guidance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes we just think it's all about just that time of the month and it's a lot more to it than that. Mm -hmm. um, it sparkles down to, you know, you want your mother to be your friend. Mm -hmm. You want your mother to be, you know, your right hand. You want to be able to go and talk to your mother. And like I said, you know, if able, sometimes you have life is some of us aren't allowed to have a relationship with our mother just due to life changes and life happenings right. so if you are for young ladies out there if you are able to have a relationship with your mother really try to focus on that and try to blend it together if you can but if not then you just have to love from a distance and just be the bigger person well yeah well um go into a little bit about your story as far as with your your relationship with your parents your, your mother your father okay Okay, um, definitely with my mother, you know, I really, really would prefer that we had a better relationship. Mm -hmm. But right now, you know, my mother just feels that it's best that we don't have the best relationship. And she's actually felt like that for a few years now. So it's been a really tough struggle for me because, you know, I love my mom and mm -hmm. love my mom to be in my life. But right now, my mom just doesn't feel like that's just the best thing. And why, why doesn't she feel like that? Um, you know, I think it's a number of reasons. Um, I think sometimes my mother may feel like, you know, if I didn't have you, where mm. would I be in life? I know there may be some other ladies out there that can relate, but the fact of the matter is, we're here. 
Um, as children, we don't ask to be here. Right, right, so right. what we try to do is we try to make it be the best experience that we can. Um, again, I would prefer to have a close relationship with my mom, but at the same time, you know, my mother doesn't feel that way. I um, can share my story with you guys of a situation to where I was at home in Tennessee. And, you know, I was really explaining to my mom how I really wanted this relationship with her. So we can better our relationship, you know, become friends. Um, I feel as a woman grows older, she really needs her mother um, right, right. just to be there. There's things that goes on in the street that really don't, you know, for young women that may not need to be involved in because they have their mother in that type of relationship. Right, right. So for my for my situation, um, my mother actually pulled a gun out on me. Oh wow. And so it was a pretty pretty devastating situation, but at the same time, thank God no one was hurt. Right, right. Um, and like I said, I ended up just leaving the house and getting in my car and then driving away and just praying for the best. Well, could you go into a little bit why, why did she pull the gun on me? Um, you know, to this day, you know, I'm really unsure. I think to this day, my mother's unsure. Right. I think it was just more the fact that it came down to, I was like, hey, if our relationship is not going to be where I feel that it should be or where really God feels that it should be, then what are we going to do about it? And my mother just wasn't interested in having a relationship with me then and not now. So I just decided like, hey, why don't I just get on my LSU things, my trophies and my rings and any kind of accolades that I had received from LSU. And she didn't take that too kindly. And that's when the gun was pulled at that time. Oh, how, how old was you around that age when she put a gun on you? Um, let's see, I was I was older, so I was maybe okay. about three years ago, so I was about thirty. Oh, okay, so you was out you was out in the house. Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So how, how many sisters do you have? Um, I have one sister. She's thirty now. Okay, do mm -hmm. she she lives in Atlanta? Or she um, lives? my sister actually lives in Orlando. She okay. lives in Orlando, Florida. Okay, okay. Do you have any brothers? I don't. I don't. Sometimes I wish I had a brother. <laughs> but it's just my sister and I. We have the same mother, same father. So, again, that's why I definitely can understand right. having a family and being in the same home, you know, with both parents is very important. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, how was your relationship with your mom now? Um, again, you know, I don't, don't want to get on the side of negativity, but it is the truth. Uh, we don't have a relationship right now. Um, I think my mother kind of wanted the distance a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I think I was the one fighting for the relationship. And that's something, too, that you know, I'd like to share with you guys. It takes two to tango. It takes two to party. It takes two to invest in the relationship. It can't just be the daughter pulling or for the child to pull. It can't be for the mother to pull. Yeah. It's got to be on both parties to forgive, to really sit down and just talk about it. But if the land of communication is closed, then you just have to do what you have to do and just be the bigger person. That's what's up. That's what's up. Heard it. So listen, how, how can a, um, a young woman learn from your testimony, your experience? Um, the best thing I can definitely say, you know, definitely keep your pray. Um, definitely pray. Um, you know, keep that automatic faith as far as what you're doing and what you believe in as far as a relationship that you do want to foster. And again, I think the main thing is just be the bigger person. Um, you may not always get the birthday phone calls or you may not always get the Merry Christmas phone calls. And sometimes it doesn't have to take a holiday or a birthday for you to reach out. So, you know, the, big, the best thing I can definitely say is to be the bigger person. That's what's up. So what are the five things to remain in good faith and good spirit? Um, good faith and good spirit. Um, you know, I was kind of putting the cart before the horse. But, you know, definitely pray. You know, put the man above. Let the man just kind of guide you. Let him do his thing because he knows best. Um, two, you know, have automatic faith. Know that everything is going to be okay. I mean, too, and don't worry about the past. You know, a lot of people like to live in the past. We want to focus on the future and how we can definitely move forward. Um, again, hitting on that being the bigger person. You know, that's the main thing that I can say. Be the bigger person. Don't wait on the holidays. Don't wait on the birthdays. Put a card in the mail and just be positive. That's what's up. So what would you tell the mothers out there, you know, as far as um, with building a relationship with, with their kids? Um, definitely for the mothers, you know, you can't be the child and the mother. Right, you know, right. at the same time. Um, a lot of people have the me, 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 the narcissistic attitude. But at the same time, we all need love. We all have needs. So sometimes as a mother, it's going to take for you to sit down and ask your child or ask your daughter, how you doing today? What's going on today? Are you dating? Um, not so much as far as just other things that come around dating. Right, right. But, you know, just really get involved more in your daughter's life and ask her what's going on. There's a lot going on on the internet. There's a lot going on on TV. There's right, right. a lot going on in the music these days to where there's so many lanes and where there's really no excuse for there not to be a mother-daughter relationship. Right. And so do you feel that if, if the parent and the mother's not showing their, their child or their daughter, you know, the, the, the right, type of, um, right type of relationship, mm -hmm. um, 
do you think they would like go somewhere else and look for like maybe in the streets and, and hang out with the wrong people how do you feel about that absolutely absolutely i feel if that love is not coming from the right place from the heart from a mother to a daughter or even from a father to a son right, which is right. a whole another ball game right. if that love is not coming from a genuine place then correct that's when people are forced to go out in the streets and get in all kind of mischief because you're looking for love in all the wrong places that's right that's right so y'all here man mothers out there y'all make sure Y'all are showing y'all kids um, affection. Y'all are respecting them and doing everything y'all got to do, you know, to raise your kids. So that's a good story. So let me ask you something. What do you think about um, um, education as far as with the, with, the, with the young people? Mm -hmm. You know, because I do a lot of stuff with the young people myself. Okay. You know, and I just like to mentor and, and, and talk to them and try to push them about school. Mm -hmm. But what would you say? What would you say to the young kids about school? Um, get an education, guys. You know, go to school, get an education, learn. You know, there's trade schools, there's different type of you know avenues that you can go into. As far as working, um, everybody may not be as far as for college, but there's a lot of other vocational avenues that you can go down or go through as far as with the education. Um, you know, a lot of things not now are based on education versus experience, but you need both. That's right. So education is important. Right. That's very right. important. Education is very important. Very important. So you mentioned you mentioned um, about you doing music. Mm -hmm. You went to music and everything. Um, you mentioned about God. So you what, what religion are you? Are you um, I, I feel Christian. Christian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Christian, definitely spiritual. Um, we can't lean on that own understanding. Right. Right. Um, right. I think that's a lot of things that we do as people. We try to figure it out on our own, but if we can just put the worries away and just really just stay focused and really have that tunnel vision. He's got all the answers. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, um, is, is there any way that somebody may be wanting to look up look up you? Is okay. there, do you have any information or a website or maybe an email or any way any, somebody can get in contact with you, maybe to look up your music, um, your acting or whatever you got going on? Okay, for sure. Definitely the Push Mix Tape is out on SoundCloud, so soundcloud.com. Um, just put in Marissa Wright, M-A-R-I-S-A-R-E-Y. Um, you're more than welcome to email me at Marissa Ray. ATL at gmail.com. Shoot me any kind of questions. I'll be sure to respond back if I can help in any way. Um, none of us are perfect, but as long as communication is open, we can all help each other. That's right. That's right. So any any, any last suggestions or any remark that you'd like to share with anybody out there that maybe would help somebody right now? Um, I would definitely say this. You know, there's a lot going on. It's 2018. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on that's happening fast in the world. So really just pull your loved ones close. You know, just pick up the phone. Just say hello. Things are not all about monetary means or money or materialistic things. A simple phone call is free. A uh, postcard in the mail is a couple cents, a couple dollars, put in the mail just to say hello. So therefore, you know that you always did your part. That's what's up. That's what's up. So y'all heard it. Your big bro, K.O. and Risa Ray. We tune in out. So catch y'all next week, Tuesday at 8 o'clock with your big bro, K.O. Caught up with them. The true.